Okay, I'm just going to do video number four. Just a quick walk around of what I've completed so far. Still waiting for the monitor, the wiring for the coin door, and a couple other small minute things, but I uh, put the T-molding on today. I fixed the control panel. I fixed the new control panel layover. New joystick, new buttons. Uh, coin door is installed, but just sitting there. Actually, not really screwed down. You can see the front of the cabinet, the sticker that I ordered, I haven't put on yet, but... Uh, you get an idea where it's going to go, obviously. Team molding, like I said, all installed. I think it turned out really nice. Kind of finishes off the cabinet really, really nice. There's a nice team molding. Uh, here's a control panel. Spent about an hour on this today. See all the new bolts are new. I sanded this all down. It's nice and smooth. Matched the paint uh, from the interior of the cabinet. Uh, smoothed it all down. So you can kind of see right here, all new bolts. So they're nice and shiny to match the coin door and everything else in the cabinet. That's pretty much it for today. I'm just going to kind of give you a walk around of what, what the back looks like. Still waiting for the back panel to come. That should be here in the next day or so, but the biggest thing is the monitor. And then I can actually play the game and make sure that it's uh, displaying properly. Uh, the sides, I'm pretty much done with the sides. I'm not going to touch up anymore. I was going to mask off and do some of the pink and yellow, but I'm not really going to do that. It's a lot of work. And I think it looks pretty good. As far as it being a vintage arcade game, um, I think I'm just going to leave it as is. So that's about it. And the little pieces here i got to trim off and, and uh, hit in, but for the most part, all done with that. That's about it. I'll give you an update when I get the monitor.